Okay, in this video, I'm gonna go over exactly how I eat to build muscle and how I eat to lose fat. So I'm gonna break this down into two diets, which I typically follow. So my lean bulk diet, one that I would do nine months of the year, I'm eating in a way which maximizes muscle growth and minimizes fat gain. And I do this by eating 300 to 500 calories above my maintenance. This way I'm giving my body the extra calories it needs to build new muscle tissue. And it's only a small caloric surplus so that you're getting muscle mass instead of fat mass. I'll also make sure to eat approximately one gram of protein per pound of body weight. This way I'm giving my body the amino acids it needs to build new muscle tissue. So if I weigh 200 pounds, I'm going to aim to eat 200 grams of protein every day. So I divide my meals up by however many meals throughout the day so that they all add up to around 200 grams of protein. I then have my summer shred diet, which is a diet which I would typically follow if I'm trying to lean down and lose body fat. I eat the same exact foods, same amount of protein. The only difference is I eat less food and I move more in order to maximize fat loss. So for three months of the year, I will eat between 300 to 500 calories below my maintenance. You can find your maintenance calories by multiplying your body weight in pounds by 14 to 16. So the more active you are, the higher up that scale you can go. But if you are a beginner, I wouldn't suggest that you do try summer shred until you have packed on a sufficient amount of mass, which is going to take you at least a couple years. So just focus on that lean bulk diet and you'll be successful. But to make gains, you have to give your body the right nutrients to build that muscle and to lose that fat because any bot can just eat 3000 calories worth of McDonald's, but that doesn't mean they're going to look good, right? So for performance in the gym, for longevity, for health, on top of for maximizing muscle growth and fat loss and improving your physique, the answer is to eat a combination of lean proteins, complex carbs, healthy fats, and fruit and vegetables. You want to be eating these foods at least 80% of your life. So you want to stock up on these foods in your fridge, in your cupboards, or you want to order these kind of foods whenever you're out or at a restaurant or if you're ordering something on Uber Eats or Deliveroo. You want to be looking out for these foods and make sure you're consuming a combination of these foods throughout the day. So learn about food, learn what good food is, what bad food is, learn how to look at a meal and know if it's high in protein and if it's healthy. It's really that simple if you just want to build muscle and be at a healthy body fat percentage. Normal people don't track their calories. You're not a bodybuilder, you're not sea bum trying to win the Mr. Olympia. At the end of the day, if your meals consist of one option from each of these lists, which I've given you, you're going to look good and you're going to feel good. 90% of your guys' problem, if you are trying to get in shape and if you are trying to fix your diet is eating the wrong foods you just have to introduce these good foods so that you can not get cravings anymore not feel sluggish anymore not feel weak in the gym anymore there are so many anabolic low calorie high protein recipes out there so many spices and seasonings you can add to your food to make it taste so good this is literally all i eat all these foods today that i've outlined for you every meal is some mix of them so for example for me a full day of eating would look something like this so i'd wake up at around 7 a.m down one liter of cold water with creatine to get my brain and my muscles fueled for the day. I then immediately go for a walk outside to get that cortisol spike so that I'm alert during my workout and for the rest of the day. And so I feel energetic and so I do not get depressed. Then my first meal would be around 9 a.m. as I try to be in the gym at around 10 a.m. So I'd say your pre-workout meal should be an hour before your gym session to optimize for performance. So my pre-workout meal today was a healthy bacon, egg and cheese bagel, a freshly squeezed orange juice and an iced espresso. So I'm getting my healthy fats, protein from the cheese, bacon and eggs. And I'm getting carbs from the bagel and from the orange juice. And then I'm getting caffeine from the coffee. So a beautiful, well-balanced pre-workout meal with at least 40 grams of protein and let's say around 600 calories. And most importantly, a decent amount of carbs. And in my opinion, the best pre-workout meal that you can have is a meal which has a starchy carb, in this case, a bagel with a fruit source. So in this case, orange juice. So I do a 75 minute workout. Then post-workout meal is a protein shake that I get from this truck outside the gym, which again is a healthy mix of carbs, fruit, protein, and fats. So so again, that's at least 40 grams of protein and around 600 calories. Then I'll wait a few hours. And for my third meal, I'll have a lean protein, a healthy source of carbs and some green veg. So for example, today I was at a cafe doing my work and I ordered a salad bowl, which consisted of chicken breast, rice, green veg, and a little bit of olive oil. And a few days ago, for example, I ordered salmon, rice, green veg, again, another healthy high protein meal with at least 40 grams of protein and around 600 calories. Then meal four would be similar. So a lean protein and a carb, like lean beef with pasta, for example. Again, 40 grams of protein and 600 calories ish. Then for meal five, I'll cook up something anabolic. For example, we cooked up this fire roasted chicken with mashed potato and veg. Again, at least 40 grams of protein and my portion was around 600 calories. And so I know that I've ate around 200 grams of protein and around 3000 calories, probably a bit more, but my maintenance is around 3,500 calories. So I've given that extra bit of leg room because I haven't been tracking my food, but I'm walking 10K steps a day. My training is on point. I'm sleeping like a baby.
baby. My sweet tooth is taken care of. I have a Diet Coke with my meals. I have that delicious protein shake. So if you're really skinny and you're just starting to go to the gym, eat six meals a day that look like the ones I've eaten. You guys need to eat, 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 even when you're full and snack on the protein bars and nuts and you will grow. If you're skinny fat, like me in this photo, six to the five meals a day, like the ones I eat, get in at least 8K steps a day and you will build muscle and lose fat and undergo a body recomposition. And if you're fat, eat four meals a day that look like this. Make sure to get in 8,000 steps per day. And after your upper body training sessions, do a form of low intensity steady state cardio. So a slow walk on the treadmill, for example, for 25 minutes. And if you struggle with cravings, start fasting for the first four hours of your day. Don't eat anything. Wake up, brush your teeth, chug a liter of water, get some sunlight. So go for a walk, then drink a cold coffee or a cold glass of sparkling water and go do your workout or go do some form of work where you're busy. This routine will become easy after around day four. This is a phenomenal way to get rid of your cravings and to lose fat. And of course, train hard hard, optimize your sleep, avoid alcohol and junk food, view morning sunlight. These are legit steps you can take to build muscle and have a healthy body fat percentage. Put it this way, if you're fat, skinny fat or skinny, if you eat like this, if you train hard, if you follow some sort of program, if you sleep well, you won't be skinny fat or skinny fat for much longer. You will look impressive eventually, but you have to be patient. And if you want to be extra sure that you'll build muscle to the best of your ability, you'll lose fat to the best of your ability, then yes, you should track your lifts. Are you progressively overloading? Do you should track your protein? You should track your calories. You should track your steps all to some degree at least and not just eyeball it like I'm doing. So it all really comes down to how bad do you really want it bro. If you really wanted to lose that fat once and for all and build muscle, you track your lifts, you track your food, you would meal prep, you would bring it with you to your work, you do what it takes to achieve your goal. It is completely your fault the way you look and the way you feel. So what are you going to do to change? I hope this has been helpful. If you need a training split, go check out my last video or click the link in the description for a free pushable leg split. Thank you for watching. Going to be coming out with the video very soon. But until then, peace.